To better understand how GT20029 works on the hair follicle, as well as understanding how DHT works on the hair follicle, I've created this little Kermita model. We call it a Kermita in New Zealand or sweet potato outside of New Zealand. So this little sweet potato is our hair follicle. So this is the hair follicle and this is the androgen receptor. Now in predisposed individuals, this androgen receptor will bind DHT. So DHT is a derivative of testosterone. It's a hormone that has a great affinity for the androgen receptor. So it binds the androgen receptor, and in predisposed individuals, this binding will lead to this follicle regressing over time in a nutshell. GT acts completely differently and without having systemic effects. It is used in a topical solution, which is applied to the scalp twice a week. And what happens is, rather than reducing DHT levels peripherally or at the scalp, what it does is it has this fascinating technology called Protac. Now, if you want to get into the depths of biochemistry, that means proteolysis targeting chimera. What it essentially does is you have GT20029. When it has influence on the follicle, what it does is it actually puts this little ubiquitin, so this little flag, into the androgen receptor. So when this little ubiquitin protein is bound onto the androgen receptor, it then signals for that particular receptor to be basically degraded by way of this proteasome molecule. So this complex sees that you have this situation in which this receptor has been flagged to be degraded. So this complex is then broken down. It is broken down not forever, but for a period of about 10 days. So the scientists at Kintour Pharmaceuticals have said that that process will be effective for about 10 days, of which it's why it's a bi-weekly application. So it's not, an, it's not a permanent solution, which is a very important thing to consider and understand. So this androgen receptor is then degraded. So DHT can no longer bind to the androgen receptor on the hair follicle so your dht levels can be as high as anything and it's just not going to bind to that receptor because it's not there